Welcome back, Sethling here. Last night, I achieved a new first in Super Mario World hacking, and I want to tell you about it. The Wii U, along with many other Nintendo consoles, lets you download old games and play them on something they call the Virtual Console. Virtual Console is really just an emulator. However, because it doesn't emulate all properties of the original Super Nintendo hardware correctly, no one has previously been able to run an arbitrary code execution exploit on it. Last night, I did. I made the game warp to credits by forcing it to run 7 bytes of code, which I placed into memory by spitting out shells at specific pixel-perfect x-coordinates. This setup could be used to run any bit of code up to 7 bytes long, which is enough to do things like install the Super Mario World jailbreak. It's a very powerful type of exploit. To perform this new setup, first I spent about an hour getting Mario into specific glitched power-up state. You've probably seen me perform power-up incrementation before. It's a glitch involving Yoshi block duplication and null sprites, which lets you increment Mario's power-up state by 1. Starting with flower power, which is power-up state 3, I had to perform the power-up incrementation glitch 33 times to get Mario into power-up state 36. This took a very long time, and I utilized the restore point feature of the Virtual Console very heavily. Power-up state 36 is special because when you collect a 1-up in this state, It'll start reading data from certain graphics-related RAM as code, and we can partially control that RAM. By doing a quick left-right while holding a shell, and kicking the shell upwards while near the left edge of the screen, we can set a couple bytes of the graphics-related RAM to make the processor start executing code from the sprite x-coordinate table. So, I spit out seven shells at seven specific x-coordinates, and the game executed those x-coordinates as code. I also had to spawn the 1-up egg from this block near the edge of the screen so that one of the shell fragments would despawn early at a certain y-coordinate. These tricks are very similar to the setup required for the current world record credits warp route, and that's actually because the two glitches end up executing code from the exact same graphics-related RAM. The code that I wrote by spitting out shells happened to place the game in credits mode, but there are endless possibilities for other things you could do with this technique. If there was some exploitable bug in the Virtual Console, this could actually be a way to take control of an emulator, and maybe even take control of the Wii U itself. I don't know of any such bug, and there are already other ways to jailbreak the Wii U, but it's still cool that this new option is potentially opened up with this setup. For a console without any known jailbreaks, like the Switch, this could actually end up being very important. People are always asking if you could do something like the credits warp on Virtual Console, and now I can finally answer yes, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.